샬롬 uh, We will share uh, Our theme is The man who you wanna know You understand that man is in God's class of being When he was created in the garden He was made in the image and the likeness of God He had to be a spirit being because God is a spirit He was created so that by partake, partaking of God's nature He might become a child of God if he were but a physical being, he could not receive God's nature. If he were but a mental being, he could not receive God's nature. He had to be a spirit being, an eternal being who would live as long as God's lives. Man had to be in God's class. He had to be created so that he could be the companion and associate of duty. God gave him authority over all the laws of nature. Every living Thing, every living thing was uh, subject to him. This uh, same authority was uh, evidence, evidently given to Jesus. During his earth walk, he ruled the laws of nature, changed water into wine, restored the uh, memorial the limbs, calmed the seas, and uh, raised the dead. This first man was a spirit in God's class. When he committed high treason, he became a partaker of Satan's nature. He was actually born again. And he became a new satanic creation. Because man is a spirit being, it was his spirit that partake, partook of uh, Satan's nature. So sad. Before the fall in the garden, during his fellowship with God, his spirit ruled him, and his senses were subject to his spirit. But when he sinned, and his spirit received the nature of the adversary, it became subordinated to his senses. I believe that before Adam fell, his five senses played only a small part. The instant he, he fell, his spirit lost dominion, and his five senses took over. He now laid, relied upon his senses, seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, and feeling. He was driven from the presence of God. He was in an enemy world. He had to see clearly, lest he lose his life. He had to hear keenly, or an animal would take 
advantage of him. His taste must tell him what was good to eat. His touch must tell him whether an object to hot or cold, sharp or rough. Adam gained an education through his five senses. His uh, spirit was uh, being made the prisoner of his uh, five senses. The psalmist cries. Psalm 142 verse 7 Bring my soul out of prison. Send me free from my prison. In Hebrew scripture is Hochia me mas me mas ger na pushi le hota dot et shemka save me send me free from my prison it's a hear soul soul cry why? Genesis uh, chapter 1, verse 26. Why Elohim naase Adam bejal bejal menu kid mutenu ve irudu bidgat hayam u beof ha shamaim u ba Behema u bekol ha arech u bekol ha lemes ha romesh ar ha arech. Here we can see ve irudu is a rule. In in English Bible says. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. Yes, the Adam, the first man, has a God's image, God's likeness. And he, God, when God created Adam, he had purpose, rule over. They may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So, we can see here, Genesis uh, chapter 1, verse 26. Ur kar hayat ha arech u lekol op hashamayim u lekol lomes al ha arech asher bo lepeshi haya. Et kol yerek eshev le akola va yehi ken. So we can see here nefeshi haya. Nefeshi haya is a very important uh, vocabulary. And the English Bible, NIV, said like this. And to all the beasts of the, of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath 
the life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. Genesis chapter 1, verse 13. So Nepesh Haya, Nepesh Haya uh, is uh, the breath of life. Nepesh means uh, soul, Haya is uh, life. It describes same word, Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Va Ijer Adonai Elohim et Hadam Afar Min Ha Adama Va Ipach Be Afaiv Nishmat Haim Va Yehi Ha Adam Le Nefesh Haya in this scripture, Adam was Nefesh Haya also. English scripture, let's say. Let's see. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. Amen. The fish higher is a, a living being. Scripture Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Also, the fish higher is the breath of life. Genesis chapter 1, verse 30. This Nefesh Haya is a Genesis. This Nefesh Haya of Genesis chapter 1, verse 30 is the creatures that move along the ground. Then, what is different between man and the creatures that move along the ground? Nefesh means uh, source, Haya means life, the soul of life. We can find, we can find the difference, ne Nishma Haim. Nishma means uh, Ni Shumat. It includes Shem, Shem is a name. So, Ha, yeah, ha, im is, this is plural, it's a life. God had a purpose to mankind, they may rule over. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. What can make them rule over? The name, Nishma Haim, lives of name, the name. Name of God, Jehovah. God gave us His name, the life, the Son of God. Amen. Here are some spirit facts. Man is a spirit. He has a soul. The soul is a compost of his recently faculties. He lives in a physical body. The physical, physical body possesses the five senses. They are the educators and the teachers of the brain. Let it be clearly understand that the brain cannot function without the senses. Man's spirit lost contact with God. His body became mortal, subject to death. 
This was the condition in which Yeshua found the human race when he broke into the sense realm to introduce the Father to sense knowledge man. Yeshua came and gave his life to you. Without Jesus Christ, without Yeshua, you can get eternal life. Yeshua came and gave you eternal life. When you receive the life, you will live eternal life. Bible, John, chapter 3, verse 9, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. God loves you. Yeshua loves you. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua. We want to know you. We want to receive your life. We believe your sacrifice. Because of our sin, you died instead of our sin. We believe you. You are the King. You are the Savior. We will follow your voice. until forever. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.